What's up guys, this is Ronnie2k and welcome to 2k Now, uh, where we speak to influencers, celebrities, NBA players, and content creators. And there's a very special content creator. You guys know her as It's Pico. What's going on? Nothing much, just that community day. It's a nice day out here. Yeah. Hot. So we're going to talk about a lot of topics. Mm -hmm. um, number one, what was your inspiration to become a content creator? Who did you see and it was like, this is what I wanted to do? Honestly, nobody. Like, I just, it just happened that way. Like, I just started, you know, COVID happened. I, I saw TikTok. I was like, you know what? I'm like, I'm going to start posting on here. You know, I started posting like dancing videos. I was like, mm -hmm. this is not me. <laughs> I can't dance. So then I moved on to like posting about 2K and it started to do well. And I was like, oh, I could kind of do this, like I, I'm getting views, you know? So then I started doing that more often and it just kind of happened from there, you know? So I would say like now I watch like bigger, you know, Twitch stars, you know, I watch guys like Flight, you know, all those guys and I'm just Why? like... like what? Because I want to see how they entertain people. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like they are very entertaining, you know, people love them. So I want to see like what they're doing, how much energy they're bringing, how's their personality. Not that I want to change mine, but I just mm -hmm. want to see how much energy I should bring as well. Yeah. Um, what is the what was the goal? Like, why why were you like all of a sudden? Uh, you know, during the pandemic, I want to start creating content. Like, but did, was there like a long term objective? No, no. It was just super random. Actually, I was just. I was just like, you know what, I'm going to make content and then it started getting views and then I was like, I started posting every day and I was like, wow, like I'm still getting views, but I never thought I would, you know, make money from it, be able to get scanned into 2K, get free copies of 2K, like I used to pay for that stuff, you know, so like, just like those little things, I was like, I didn't even think that was possible. Uh -huh. So now I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Okay, so now you look at it and mm -hmm. it's become this amazing thing. What do you want this to be in three to five years like what is what is the what is the goal now the goal is you know maybe i'm not going to be content creating for a long time but i still want to be in the space of basketball whether okay. it's broadcasting or just like behind the scenes of people who are content creating you know working for companies that do a lot of social media something like that just i just want to be a part of basketball because that's really what I love. Yeah. Well, you said something there about um, wanting to maybe represent others. Mm -hmm. Is that important to you? Like, do you feel like you have inspired, I mean, obviously a big time female influencer in the basketball sports space. Do you feel like you've been an inspiration for others? I think a little bit. Yeah. I think girls, maybe they felt like they could start, you know, just posting about 2K in the place where, you know, maybe they didn't feel like it was mm -hmm. okay before. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I do get sometimes, you know, people, girls be like, oh, my God, like, you're one of the first girls I've so seen streaming. And I'm like, wow, this is just, that's just unreal, you know, to be that for somebody. So maybe And getting to bit. talk about something that you truly, really yes. love. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, Definitely. I mean, I think that that's in itself inspiring, right? Like being able to try to make a career out of a very specific niche. A lot of people want to be in sports. A lot of people love sports. Yeah. So for you to have taken that interest and turned it into something that you can monetize and get recognition and get brand deals and, and work with the brands that you mentioned, like, did you ever think that that might happen? And No. Yeah, no okay. way. Like. I didn't think any of this was possible. I didn't know, like, you could make a living like this. Yeah. I thought maybe, like, YouTube views, but just, like, I didn't know you could make a living with TikTok, mostly, like, doing such a niche like basketball. So why not forever? I'm confused. I, I mean, I would love to do it forever, but it's hard to do it forever. It takes a toll on your mentally. Like, it takes a toll on you trying to be creative all the time. So if... You know, if I'm not there mentally, I would still want to be in basketball somehow, but maybe not content creation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's hard to be entertaining for that long. So if I could do it forever, I definitely would. Do you feel like it's difficult to be creative that long because it's like an energy drain? Like, is that 
it's it's so like I asked uh, I've asked others this question on this podcast before, which is how much of your time do you put into content creation and how much of of, of your time do you put into brand strategy, like percentage wise? Mm. Like when you're thinking about your lo- like what is peak of the brand? What is the percentage share that you spend on content versus thinking about the brand? I think I spend too much time on content, Mm -hmm. whereas I don't spend enough time on the brand part Mm -hmm. of it. So I'd say like the percentage wise would be like 70, 30. Well, that's not bad. I thought you were going to say like 90, 10. Well, okay, maybe 80, 20 then. Yeah, Yeah, because I never saw myself as a brand, so I'm still kind of getting used to that. But I always see content and, and that's like the first thing that comes into mind when I whenever I see anything. Yeah. yeah. I just, I would re- encourage you if I can inspire you at all. Um, obviously, we're both brown. We have a lot in common. <laughs> right. Um, I, I would uh, encourage you to spend a lot of time, almost as much time thinking about what you want this to be, what you want the objectives to be, how, what brands are important to you and how are you going to get them to right. be interested in you as, as you do on your great content, right. right? So like, what are some of the brands that you want to work with and how, how could you make that happen? For example, just name one. The NBA. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely one. But that... you don't really care about like endorsements or anything like that? Um, it's just sports, which is great. Yeah, yeah, just, I didn't think about the endorsements. I'm just thinking like, just like working with sports, like whether it's analytical or yeah. in any space yeah. really. Well, you're already doing that. That's what I'm saying. I like, know, like, you're right. <laughs> but it still doesn't feel like it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I know. It, it, it does take a while for like, you know, it took me a long time to recognize. I'm like, oh my God, like I am creating content that people really care about. And um, because I was just doing what I enjoyed and I was a fan of 2K before I was the face of 2K, right? And right. so I, I, I relate with you in that way. But I really want you to think about like what you can do to like broaden your reach because I think you are really important to young girls who might be uncomfortable like being open about liking basketball and you know like liking the things that they do. Right. And they find you inspiring. So I'm just, you know, I want you to lean in. I don't want you to just be like, oh, you know, we're we I got a good thing going. And it might get me to a basketball career. Like, you should think about the impact you're having on people. Yeah, I sometimes forget that with all that's going on. But I feel like I really do have to think about that part of it. Yeah, 100%. You have this audience that's very engaged. When you, I I did want to ask you one more thing. When you originally started making content and you got started to get picked up by House of Highlights and Bleach Report and all of them, did you think that that was like a moment of being recognized or was were you thinking like, oh, this is a, a good opportunity for, for me to amplify and like be known by, you know, a bunch, get more followers and all that stuff. Like what was your thought process when that started happening? Because I remember it was yeah. like early pandemic, you started putting out videos of, you know, my top five NBA players, my top teams. I remember that very vividly. And it would be you'd get picked up every day by a, a new outlet. Like, what was that exp- that thought process when that was happening? I was just like, this is like, why Surreal. me? Yeah. I was like, why? What is so special about these videos? Because I was really just posting, you know, my mm-hmm. thoughts about NBA and stuff, and I was just like, how? How did this happen? You know, but it was really just like me being happy that I did get recognized. Yeah. And, that you know yeah i guess it was just me being recognized i didn't think about the followers and stuff at the time i didn't think about like the negativity too because that was something i had to go through with like working with house highlights how do you yeah because they have an audience that maybe isn't used to that kind of content right right see so how did you kind of deal with that block that out it was hard for me honestly i went to them and i was like you know what i don't know if i want you guys posting my videos anymore Mm -hmm. because i i can't like i can't not look at the comments but then now i'm like dang like i don't now i don't care i'm like that was so good for for me, you know. I'm being recognized by House of Highlights. They want to post my videos, yeah. and so I look back and I'm like, well, I, I might have reacted silly, but in that, at that time, emotionally, I was like thinking about not doing these videos. Uh, but I mean, that's like you were talking about the the creative energy you need to do. Mm-hmm 
content, right? Right. That's also part of it too. Like the yeah. feedback that you're going to get and how like soul sucking that might be. Yeah. Um, it's a lot, a lot to handle. Yeah, it was a lot because at that time they were posting me a lot. And I think people are just, they're just annoyed by the fact that, you know, other people are getting attention and they're not. So creatively, <laughs> I was just like done. I was like, I, I can't do this anymore. Like I can't think of anything because i felt like everything i was doing was wrong at that time yeah yeah well i'm glad you stuck with it because your content means so much to so many people Thank and you. we all appreciate pika so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed our time with pika go check out our content if you haven't already and thank you guys for watching this is ronnie and uh this was 2k now